Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in James chapter 4 verse 12 as well as Obadiah chapter 1 verse 4. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for this word Lord Jesus. Bless us as we partake in it. Help us to have wisdom and understanding. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right you guys, James chapter 4 verse 12. There is only one lawgiver and judge. He who is able to save and to destroy. But who are you to judge your neighbor? All right. And so this one is completed today with Obadiah chapter one, verse four. Though you soar aloft like an eagle, though your nest is set among the stars, from there, I will bring you down, declares the Lord. All right. And so, of course, Obadiah chapter one is talking about Edom, the Edomite, and how they had set themselves up against the children of Israel during battle. They were turning them into the Babylonians. And they were just doing all sorts of stuff against the children of Israel. They ransacked their homes. They they were just not good toward their brethren. And remember, their brothers through Jacob, right? Jacob, uh, Israel is from Jacob and Esau has the Edomites. All right. And so, um, this one is basically saying, you know, it seems as if your, your heart is high and you are so high up there, you can't be reached. And yet God is going to bring them down, right? Very swiftly. And so, um, here in James chapter four, verse 12, is there is only one lawgiver and good judge. So that one who's coming and and causing the the one who sets himself high to be brought low, he is the lawgiver and judge. We are not, right? Just like Edom was not the judge against Israel. You know, we are not the judge against anyone. We just because we see something doesn't mean that we're allowed to judge, right? Just because we recognize sin does not mean we're allowed to judge. We're to keep judgment away from us because we want great um, mercy when we are standing before the judge. And so it says there is only one lawgiver and judge. He who is able to save and to destroy. But who are you to judge your neighbor? All right, and so let me just read the second verse again. Though you soar aloft like the eagle, though your nest is set among the stars, from there I will bring you down, declares the Lord. So the Lord is in charge of that judgment. The Lord is in charge of that wrath. He is going to do as he sees fit, and it is not for us to figure out um, the judgment out or point the finger and say, this person is going to get the judgment, right? It, it is, we can only read the word and trust in God to handle the rest. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for all you've done. Thank you for this word, Lord Jesus. Help us to stay close to you. Help us to put our hearts into your hands. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, um, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you for doing that, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, um, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth meaning he is going to show you the way he is going to lead you down right paths and he is going to show you which church home to join other believers to be around so that you can be sharpened in the word of God. 
um, a place where you can go and get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And also, he is going to lead you to make disciples of all men, tell other people about him. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. You are amazing, Lord. Bless us. Help us to continue to tell others about you. Help us to do your will. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.